Russia's interference in election harms Biden and helps Trump. U.S. intelligence warns. Russia, which is looking for ways to boost the candidacy of former President Donald Trump by discrediting the campaign of current President Joe Biden, is using a familiar scheme to try to change the outcome of the upcoming U.S. presidential election, according to U.S. intelligence officials. A new assessment of threats to the November election released does not name either candidate. However, an intelligence official told reporters that the Kremlin's view of the U.S. political landscape has not changed since previous election cycles. The official agreed to discuss the intelligence information only on condition of anonymity. The advantage was reinforced by the U.S. role in Ukraine and the broader policy toward Russia. The official said, The warning from U.S. intelligence officials comes nearly four years after a similar warning about the 2020 presidential election pitting then-President Trump against Biden. William Evanina, the former head of the U.S. National Counterintelligence and Security Center, said at the time that Moscow was using a series of measures primarily to smear former Vice President Biden and what it sees as an anti-Russian establishment. Some actors connected to the Kremlin are also trying to promote the candidacy of President Trump on social media and on Russian television, he added. A non-confidential post-election assessment released in March 2021 reaffirmed the initial results. The report said that Russian President Vladimir Putin, while offering support to Trump, allowed influence operations aimed at discrediting the candidacy of President Biden and the Democratic Party. U.S. intelligence officials said they contacted both presidential campaigns and candidates, but declined to share what kind of information was shared. The Trump campaign dismissed the U.S. intelligence assessment as out of date. Vladimir Putin endorsed Joe Biden for president because he knows Biden is weak and easily bullied, National Press Secretary Caroline Leavitt said to Voice of America. Russian efforts are also aimed at targeting U.S. voters in states that could influence the outcome of the presidential election, the officials said. Some of these attempts have already come to light. Ukrainian Security Service has reported that it struck Russian Tor, M2 and Buk air defense systems with the use of RAM and Switchblade 600 drones and killed hundreds of Russian soldiers in the past two weeks. In its official Telegram channel, the service reported on Wednesday that in the past two weeks, the special forces under the security service also struck 30 Russian tanks, 43 BBM, 56 artillery systems and MLRs, 12 air defense systems, 8 RBRR funds, 461 vehicles, 235 fortifications, 11 fuel and lubricants warehouses and ammunition. It should be noted that worth 25 million US dollars, TOR is an all-weather low to medium altitude, short-range surface-to-air missile system that is widely used by the Russian army. Buk, a self-propelled, medium-range surface-to-air missile systems that is worth 40 million US dollars, is designed to destroy strategic and tactical aircraft, cruise missiles, helicopters, and other aerial objects. Fire has broken out in famous Rouen Cathedral in northern France on Thursday. According to the French Ministry of Culture, the cause of the fire may be mishandling at the restoration site of the cathedral's metal spire. Saint Maritime Prefecture reported that the fire broke out at the top of the spire, which is made of metal rather than wood, and restoration work is currently being carried out there. It is not yet known whether the wooden frame of the cathedral was damaged. Thick black smoke was filmed pouring out of its main spire in the late morning, in an area where renovation work was taking place. Rouen Cathedral is one of the national heritage sites of France. Fire engines are at the scene, and the cathedral has been evacuated, said an emergency services spokesman. The city's mayor, Nicolas Mayer Rossignol, took to X to say, a fire has started on the spire of Rouen Cathedral. Origin unknown at this stage. All public resources are mobilized. 